Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 173rd episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. All right, so to start off, a lot's happened since last week's episode, and I just wanted to take this time to thank you guys so much for being a part of my YouTube channel, for supporting me in 2013, and continuing to support me throughout this new year in 2014. I really couldn't have done it without you guys, and again, I know I've said it in two of my recent videos, but thank you again for being subscribed. And of course, I wish all of you a great year in 2014. So before we really get into some of the newer information, I just wanted to remind you guys that recently the Evaders released their iOS 7 Evasion 7 Untethered Jailbreak, that's again capable of jailbreaking all iOS 7 firmwares, even the latest public firmware being 7.0.4, and it also supports all iOS devices, even the latest A7 based ones. Well, following that recently, on December 30th, I Hate Snow released his POSIX Pwn utility to jailbreak iOS 6.1.3, 6.1.4, and 6.1.5 untethered. Now, unlike the hacker's previous POSIX Pwn package that was made available on Cydia following the release of Evasion, the new utility is capable of jailbreaking all all devices on 6.1.3 and higher. So if you own devices that are even as new as the iPhone 5 and the fourth generation iPad, you can now jailbreak Apple's older iOS 6 firmware untethered. And of course, I will have links to everything below being the 6.1.3 and iOS 7.0.4 untethered jailbreaks and both of the video tutorials I created for those utilities. And speaking of the iOS 7 untethered jailbreak, it's only a matter of time until Apple releases the next public firmware, which will most likely patch a number of the exploits that are required to jailbreak with evasion. And once that happens, it's highly likely that there won't be another jailbreak until after Apple releases their next major round of devices sometime later this year, most likely around fall. So what are you waiting for if you aren't jailbroken? The time to do so is now while the window is still open. And transitioning into the next related topic, last night I pushed out my top tweaks video for jailbroken devices and the list that I mentioned in said video includes tweaks that function across all devices, even ones powered by A7 processors. So once you're jailbroken, if you don't know exactly what to get from Cydia, just be sure to check out that video to get started on downloading tweaks now. And of course, what actually made that video possible is Sarek's extremely hard work on mobile substrates. So recently, the creator of Cydia, Jay Freeman, better known online as Sarek, released an update to mobile substrate, effectively renaming it to Cydia Substrate for iOS devices. And now the latest version is at 0.9.5 thousand. So in spending days creating it, he was finally able to release it, of course, following the evasion untethered jailbreak. Now it wasn't released alongside the jailbreak because it simply wasn't ready. Again, the evaders did rush their utility, and if you want the reason, why, then just be sure to check out the previous episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. I detail everything there. And even though Mobile Substrate, which is the framework upon which most jailbreak tweaks are developed, has been updated to include support for iOS 7 and A7 based devices, a lot of developers have yet to update their tweaks to support the latest firmwares and the latest devices. So just give them time to release and push out updates. And also keep in mind that the repositories being the sources where you actually obtain packages inside of Cydia, take about 24 to 48 hours to approve various updates and also new tweaks. Next, on January 1st, a new tweak. Actually, the first tweak that takes advantage of the iPhone 5S's Touch ID home button was released to Cydia, and I did create a detailed video on it. So if you want an in-depth look at it and you're interested in extending your iPhone 5S's Touch ID capabilities, then just be sure to check it out. Again, I'll have a link to that below. And that pretty much concludes most of everything I want to discuss in this video. However, I just wanted to briefly talk about the new Mac Pro, which I have gone over in earlier episodes. So this computer, which was available on Apple's website in mid-December, won't ship until February. And actually, people who went to order it the very next day after it became available on Apple's site, again, were receiving messages that the Mac Pro wouldn't ship out until next month from now. So that was two months at a time. However, certain lucky customers did start to receive their Mac Pro towards the end of December. And I've been trying to get my hands on one for you guys to unbox and review. So of course, just be sure to stay tuned and look for that. I'm going to try to push it out as quickly as possible possible once I can actually get one for my channel. Now for those of you who use free app life, a service brought to you by myself and Adrian from Jailbreak Nation and iPod Uplink, you'll be glad to know that the few login errors that existed have now been rectified. So if you have yet to use FAL or free app life, just be sure to navigate to freeapplife.com inside of Safari, create a simple account, download and open the FAL tracking app once, and then you'll be able to download sponsored applications to earn points and redeem said points for various prizes, such as paid application codes in Apple's App Store and gift cards. We also hold multiple giveaways on the 
service. And after having concluded the second generation iPad mini giveaway recently, we're now holding a new fifth generation iPod touch giveaway where you have the chance to win not one, but three different iPod touches. So just be sure to check that out. Again, I'll have links to everything discussed in today's episode down below and I'll also have some more general tech coverage in next week's episode. I know I said that last week about this episode. However, a few other jailbreak things came up that I just went over, which delayed everything slightly. So again, just be sure to look for next week's episode. And if you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card in this video, just be sure to rate it up and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos. Also, leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. And if you don't know what to leave in the comment section, try answering the question of the day. And for this episode, it's going to be kind of different. So let me know what you're most looking forward to in 2014, whatever it is, tech related or otherwise. Again, just be sure to leave your responses in the comment section or on Jailbreak Tech Info. And of course, to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, add me on your circles inside of Google Plus, and follow me on Instagram. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.